covering Colorado First Now in Jefferson County, where separate trials are planned for the three young men accused of killing a woman when they threw a large rock into her moving car. All three of those men were in court today. Zachary Quack, Nicholas Karolchik, and Joseph Koenig all pled not guilty to all charges. The first trial is set to start in early June. It was one year ago this month when 20-year-old Alexa Bartell crashed her car after a rock came smashing through her windshield. She was on the phone with a friend at the time. Your reporter Alan Janay covered this story last year, was in court today. And Alan, there's now more charges involving other victims. Yes, four more charges after two more drivers came forward saying that there were objects thrown at their vehicles nearly two months before Alexa Bartel was killed. All four charges are against Joseph Koenig, including attempted assault and attempted murder, but they are not against the other two. Still, the cases against all three hinged to some degree on what led to their arrests. Uh, how does Mr. Karolchik plead today? One by one, the three suspects were asked their pleas. How does Mr. Koenig plead today? All three entered pleas of not guilty. Is that your desire, Mr. Kwok? Yes, Your Honor. Alexa Bartel's death, hit by a rock thrown from a passing vehicle as she drove alone along a near-empty stretch of Indiana Street north of Arvada, brought heartbreak and sadness to friends and loved ones. The case was broken open after a so-called tower dump of cell phone data showing what phones were in the area at the time of the crime. Request trial by jury. Defense attorneys are challenging the collection of the data that ultimately linked the suspects to the location of the killing. This isn't settled law. Veteran prosecutor and defense attorney Karen Steinhauser says there are still questions about privacy. Prosecutors said the tower dump is not even a search because we willingly give that information to mapping services. Do we have an expectation of privacy in our GPS records of where we are? And is it right to say that we give that up simply because we are using cell phones that have GPS capability? At the core is whether law enforcement can search for data in a given area, resulting in all phones active there, though in this case, the area was fairly remote. And they were able to narrow down the times, linking it to the attacks that had taken place. Likely to be a sensitive issue in a case about the tragic killing of an innocent victim. I think this is an area that just, we just need to see what happens. Now, the fact that it was narrowed down could help prosecutors. The judge says he will rule on motions on May 7th. He set trial dates for Carol Chick and Kwok in June and for Koenig in July. Still to be established is whether or not the suspects will testify against each other. The DA's office says it doesn't know yet. But there was conflicting information about who threw the fatal rock in what they told investigators. Carol Chick told detectives that it was Kwok. Kwok told detectives that it was Koenig. Koenig didn't have anything to say. In Jefferson County, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First. Alan, thank you.